Folks, while videos of algae scrapers are probably not on the top trending list right now, I do want to share one with you. There's a new one on the market from the good folks at Seachem. Their new 3-in-1 algae scraper did a very good job removing a very hard to remove type of algae. That's coming up. Now in this video, I specifically want to reference my 36 gallon Bowfront acrylic tank and the algae growing on the sides of the glass. Now this is green spot algae and folks, you might have grown this. This is the type of green spot algae they're like barnacles. It's caked on, almost impossible to get off. Most of this algae comes from sunlight that gets through the blinds of the window and still reaches the tank. I do have a good cleaning crew in this tank. I have a mono shrimp, great with green hair and black beard algae. I have auto sinkless in this tank and I have my bristlenose pleco. They all do a great job cleaning the inside of the tank, but I still have the issue with the sunlight and the green spot algae on the tank walls. Now this is a no snails tank. The reason being is behind the pleco there, my clown loaches, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and I say that with love, would eat any snails I try to put in this tank. And some say neurite snails are very effective at eating green spot algae. That's not an option in this case. And my cleaning arsenal is old and outdated. A five-year-old top fin blue sponge doesn't quite do the trick when it's as soft as a loofah and a five-year-old metal scraper that I used for glass tanks is about as sharp as a dull spoon, so this isn't gonna do me any good anymore. Now, as much as I even try to use this blue pad, and they will say blue is for glass, this is so worn out, it doesn't really matter, but no matter how hard I try to scrub, this green spot algae is not going anywhere, and I have not had any success using a credit card, as a lot of people recommend, so I wanted to give this algae scraper a try. I picked this up on Amazon for $14.99, there really aren't instructions that come along with this. It's pretty intuitive, but I just wanted to show you how it works. So inside your scraper is a cartridge. If you pinch on the tabs and pull up, your retractable metal blade will come out. Now this is a nice blade. It can be turned around. There's two sharp inside, so you're really getting two for one with the metal blade. If you pinch and pull up again, here is your cartridge. And on one side you have your metal blade, and on the other is your white acrylic pad. And as a general rule of thumb, when you see a white pad, that's for acrylic tanks, blue is for glass tanks. So for the beginning hobbyists out there, when you're shopping around, buy the blue scrubbing pads for glass tanks and the white scrubbing pads for your acrylic tanks. And you can simply turn this around, make sure the blades are facing downward, turn that around, lock it in place, and now you have your surface for cleaning your acrylic tank walls. This cartridge can be pulled apart. It's a little bit hard when you first do it, but once it gets wet, it's a lot easier to pull apart, but that pulls apart in the middle. You can see the configuration. There's your metal blade and the two sharpened sides. So really it's almost two blades in one and you can see your white soft acrylic pad. That's the configuration there. Now, if you take your white pad out, you can see you can just use that plastic lip. It works great for brown algae and some green dust algae. It did not work at all for the green spot algae. So when you're cleaning the green spot algae, I would make sure and recommend that you keep the plastic lip and the acrylic soft pad in the cartridge. So here it is. Your metal blade, of course, you're gonna use for only glass tanks. We don't wanna use the metal blade on acrylic tank walls. It will scratch the acrylic. The soft white pad you can use for acrylic or glass tanks, and the plastic extension on its own you can use for glass or acrylic tanks. Now, I didn't find that the plastic extension on its own worked well except for brown algae or green dust algae. So I would recommend for this type of green spot algae that's caked on like barnacles, use the plastic lip and the soft white pad together. On the first test, I was happy to see that this was finally starting to come off. Now, this algae had been on the walls of this tank for a while, folks. I just didn't have a tool and credit cards didn't work for me. Now here, I hope you can see the green spot algae in between the acrylic walls and the algae scraper. As you can see, I'm scraping this and you'll see these green dots start to disappear I'm sorry about the lighting, but I hope you can see this the more that I work on it. Now that plastic lip is doing what it can to help scrape off the algae and it's being picked up by that soft white pad underneath. So it ended up being very, very effective. You still have to use some elbow grease, but at least it's getting this algae removed. And you only have to buy the handle and your first cartridge once. Seachem will happily sell you replacement cartridges, metal blades, and soft white pads. And this is much like buying the razor at a Nice cheap price and it's the blades that cost the money, but at least you have that option. Replacement cartridges, blade refill packs, and soft pad refill packs cost about six, seven dollars, but they should last quite a while. And it floats. I've dropped my old algae scrubbers in the tank in the past, so this one does float a nice feature. 
All in a day's work with the new Seacam 3-in-1 Algae Scraper. Did a great job on all of my tanks, but I especially wanted to point out how it did with Green Spot Algae. Folks, I hope that video is helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe for future content, and as always, thanks for watching.